you have to do? Just find an excuse to win. Keep going. Hey guys, Lynn Keck here. At the range, just doing some planking. Nothing particular today, just felt like getting out and getting to the range a little bit. Just got some smoke today. Um, we got smoke in Oregon because the, uh, well, you know, might as well start off a good old fashioned range, range rant, local here, or close to home. Um, the uh, imbeciles that they elect up in Salem are capital. Oh, these cats are unbelievable. They're un they an unbelievable bunch of uh, atheistic communists. Uh, who are completely out of their freaking minds. And, and, and of course, you know, their insanity extends to the uh, point that I gotta deal with smoke every day in the summer now. Have for, I don't know, three, four, maybe five years now. Because they don't, know, they don't know how to manage, they don't know how to manage anything. These goofball, these freaking goofball commie liberals, they're absolute ignoramuses. They could not find, fix, or figure their way out of a paper bag. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable to me that people, I can't, I can't understand how people can be so freaking blind and ignorant about how the simplest nature of things work or don't work. But, so anyways, I got smoke, so I just, any of you Oregon people, you just keep voting for them dumbasses you keep putting in office. All them democratic goofball liberal commies. They're just commies. The Democratic Party is no longer an American party. It's a communist party. And at this point, they're not even hiding it. They're just, they're not even hiding it. People wake up. It's time to wake the fuck up. Pardon my French. It's time to wake the fuck up. But, um, so while I have the range of myself, I was going to spout off a little bit here. And, and in regard to that same thing on a, uh, on a macro scale, so to speak, nationally, um, I think Donald Trump has got his hands full. And uh, it's obvious, it's obvious with anybody with ears to hear and eyes to see that these, uh, even people in, even people in the uh, Republican Party that are supposed to be supporting him are, uh, Trump derangement syndrome is real and it's alive. These people are out of their freaking minds to the to the point they're so incensed with this stuff that um, they have completely shed any responsibility towards their uh, towards the citizens of this country. That's obvious. They have an agenda that is not at all good for for the nation and its sovereignty. Um, Donald Trump is hanging in there tough. I give that guy a great amount of credit. He, uh, he's tough as nails. He, ha he has to be. He has everybody, basically, with few exceptions, he has everybody publicly that you see against him. Um, but you cannot deny the results of the things he's doing. He makes other presidents look absolutely lazy by comparison. The guy is a working machine. He... Uh, he doesn't stop. He's like the Energizer Bunny. He doesn't stop, but I think he needs I think he needs the support of the American people more than ever right now. There is a there is a um, there's an attempt right now to undermine the very constitution of this government of this nation. Um, they're trying to do a coup d'état on Donald Trump. And they, uh, if they're not successfully through their devious means, I wouldn't put a shock, wouldn't shock me at some point to see that it, some kind of attempt on his life is made. They need to, they need to get him out, out of there. Um, but in my, from my perspective, he sounds like the only one that's talking on my behalf. And I know I've said that before, but uh, they, they hate that man because he's not part of their cabal. And mind you. I do believe that these people, I've got people that when I mention to them the, uh, the catch words like deep state, shadow government, for the most part, at the, right at that point, you can tell if the people you're talking to are even remotely aware of anything. 
if they're even getting spoon-fed even the wrong news. Um, what did um, Denzel Washington say? If you're if you're not reading the newspaper, you're ill-informed, and if you are reading the newspaper, then you're misinformed. Um, which I can't think of anything truer, but this is more than just innocent naivety or overlooking of things or misunderstandings. This is a concerted effort by a very evil, evil cabal that is worldwide. And I think the thing that they fear perhaps the greatest is Donald Trump exposing what I believe is a, uh, a worldwide pedophilia ring involving many, many powerful people, many of which you've never heard of, but nonetheless still very, very wealthy and powerful, and uh, people, many of whom we know about. Um, there, a lot of these people are involved in some, globally, um, some very satanic stuff, and don't discount that, I know. I can't believe I would ever get to this point in my life that I'd be actually saying that and actually seeing with my own two eyes that the, the stuff is the stuff is true. Uh, my mom warned me about this years and years and years ago, and I, at that time I kind of, I guess I labeled my mom to a degree way back when as being what people want to try to push off on me as, you know, it's all just conspiracies and it's all just a bunch of bullshit. But God, if anybody that has any common sense whatsoever and any access to look at the things that they should be looking at instead of what they want to try to get you to look at. I have a feeling that most everybody, American citizens, would come to a different conclusion and make different decisions as a result of that. But uh, there is a uh, global pedophile ring, I believe, that's uh, at the heart of this. And it is, as uh, Kennedy said, it involves military, financial, um, industrial, all aspects, even spiritual aspects of life, and it is an evil cabal that is driven basically by satanic forces. And granted, there's a great many people that are unwittingly participating in it. They're unaware of this, which, which for all intents and purposes, doesn't matter because the end result is still the same. The, the uh, deep state is still using many people to um, using their naivety to further their their agenda. Um, there is uh, there's so it is so complex and so involved that I don't think anybody can put it together cohesively that somebody would comprehend. But I'm just going to say this: there is trillions and trillions of dollars that are unaccounted for that have gone into the Pentagon. This is above and beyond the funding that we know about for the military. These things are set up by shadow uh, firms and companies that generate documents to make it look like there's contracts for this, that, and the other thing. And all it is is a way of laundering money to the deep state to further their uh, dark projects. And now, mind you, I believe that a lot of these dark projects are of extremely high tech technological research. I think these people have a lot more technology, far, way farther advanced than the people on this, the, the normal person realizes. And I believe also that a great, great deal of it could serve to benefit mankind and solve a lot of our problems if they would come to the admission that they have technologies that we don't know about, um, but they're not they're not going to do that. The, uh, the deep state is incredibly powerful. It's incredibly well organized. It is uh, an assortment of uh, what they call the Iron Triangle, I believe. It's the, uh, the military, the industri industrial, and commercial. Those three things form what is called the, the Iron Triangle. And they basically uh, control all the um, manufacture of military arms and technologies. And then, mind you, all this stuff is funded by the same source. Ultimately, it's all funded by the same source. Um, keep in mind that since the early 1800s, 
the Napoleonic Wars, and I think I've mentioned this before, is ultimately all sides of a war are funded by the same by the same money. Think about that. Think about that for a second, and just think of what that means. But um, but getting off, not getting too far off track here. If the American public fails at this midterm election, if they allow the House of Representatives to be controlled by the Communist Democrats, there will be no end to it. There will be, these people will come, all you're going to see is investigations and, and inquiries and, and accusations, and you will see the most hideous, the most hideous form, uh, it will be embarrassing. It will be embarrassing for the world uh, to see this. Um, and as the Bible pretty much says it, you'll be the laughing stock of the world if you, uh, if you don't pay attention to uh, God's teaching and instruction. But these uh, demonic forces, these satanic uh, forces, they're engaged in ritual, rituals, human sacrifice, I believe, they use children, they, they use children, they barter with children as you would barter with money. These people have no need for any more money. They're, they have all the money they could ever spend. Um, so I believe they use uh, children as kind of a, a form of currency to them. And of course, as was revealed, I believe, in the uh, uh, Pizza Gate with Podesta and Hillary and all that stuff way back when before the election. Um, you could see by the uh, interaction in their emails that they have different values for different types of children. Um, it's all very, all very satanic and evil stuff. And I believe they perform human sacrifices. I think, I think you know, good us good Americans that we've lived. If you're like me, man, I was born in the time in this country, greatest time ever in this country. I thank God every day for that, by the way. Uh, but you just don't want to believe with your eyes. With, er, er, and and you, you see things, but you just don't want to believe it. I might remind people that uh, this is no longer the 1980s. You, many of the people I talk to, older people uh, that are maybe 50 years old or older, um, they're still, they still compare everything to a 1980s paradigm. And you can't. This is, we're almost a fifth of the way through the 21st century. And things have changed tremendously. Um, there is stuff now going on that, as, as Americans brought up in the time frame that I was, as were millions of others, we just, it's just hard to, it's hard to fathom. It's hard to wrap your head around the things that, that are actually going on. And I suppose to a great degree, many, many uh, people would just assume bury their head in the sand and uh, just say it's not true and go about their business and you know act like nothing's wrong but there's a lot wrong and if you care about the future of this country you would have some concern instead of just trying to you know don't be electricity electricity always takes the path of least resistance and i find most people that's what i would compare them to is electricity because they're always taking the path of least resistance they don't want to spend their own time looking at things, researching stuff, going outside the uh, normal uh, information sources. Um, I like pulling up. I like pulling up documents. I like pulling up government documents. As a matter of fact, I pulled up one just the other day. As a matter of fact, uh, I pulled up the U.S. patent for it. It is what the military calls an LRAD. It's a long-range audio device, and the patent was applied for in 1996, if that tells you how, how old that is, it's 22 year old. The patent was actually um, confirmed, put into action on 2002, so we're talking 16 years ago. This is 20 year old technology at minimum, and the military uses it, and what it is, it is a way to concentrate microwaves it's also referred to as a directed energy weapon. Like I say, the military calls it an LRAD, long range audio device. They can actually put a voice inside of somebody's head that can't be heard outside, outside anywhere, any, any fashion. And uh, it sounds like it is being generated within your head. You would have to read the technical description of how it works from the patent, but that's basically what it is. It's 
the military, the soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan refer to it as the voice of God, or some of them just refer to it as Allah. But it can project to an individual, they can be surrounded by in a crowd of people, and they can direct it at a particular individual and put a voice in that person's head. Keep that in mind as you see these mass shootings, where people, a number of them, I already know a number of these people, they don't, they, they quickly squelch this stuff, but a lot of these people that, uh, that don't end up killing themselves, which is ideally what they really want them to do when they get done with their mass shootings, they want them to kill themselves, so there's no, no, nobody to talk to about it, but a number of these people said that they were hearing voices in their head. So, of course, immediately in my mind, I make the connection between the uh, NLRAD and, um, you know, the uh, people saying they're hearing voices in their head before they go crazy and start shooting things up. Um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. There's uh, people might want to research and see who the Majestic Twelve were, or um, the um, uh, the mind control uh, magic, the magic program, which was ultimately a mind control program that started way back when. Uh, M M it's called MK Ultra. That was a mind control program, the technology they were developing decades ago. And so now where is it where is it today? You know this stuff just doesn't go away and it doesn't get less technical or you know, uh, worse than it was before. It becomes more and continually going and being more and more advanced. But our government is no longer run by us, by the people. I think that's all a, fa a fallacy. Um, Donald Trump is doing his level-headed best to try to take wrestle control back, but there is some gigantic forces allied against him. He needs our prayers. He really does. And like I say, if the American people do not, if the American people do not come out and vote and keep the Democrats, commun the communist Democrats, from controlling the House of Representatives. It'll all over, be all over but the shouting. I'm telling you what, this is our last chance, people. This is our last chance at this to rectify this and start to put this, put this ship back on course. Um, and Donald Trump is what guy's got cojones, huge cojones. And so, so what? I, you know, more, the more I like the guy, the more I see the guy, the more I like him. At first, I was a little questionable about him because of his methods and his certain things because he's you know he's not a politician americans have become so uh uh catered to with his political speak where every word is couched and thought out and every word means something americans have become used to that that when they hear a man talking normal english language like you do when you're talking to people your friends they all of a sudden become astounded and, and stunned and amazed and sometimes offended but uh He's our only option, guys. Could you imagine what would what would be right now if actually if Hillary Clinton had won? And don't kid yourself. These uh, these next elections, this midterm, these these Democrats are not these communist Democrats are not above fix rigging the election. They it is absolutely within their. They have no scruples or ethics whatsoever. No morals at all. They just want what they want. They can rationalize it any way they want. They are the party of. The ends justify the means. Um, it's it's rather sad, actually, but if we don't get this stuff back through the election process, the alternative is going to be freaking ugly. Um, I want you to I want you to, guys to kind of think about that. But we need Americans to get out and vote, and I believe all this electronic voting booths and all this garbage, electronic uh, online voting, and I think they should hate. Me if it was up to me, first, let me, let me say this to you. It was in, I think, 1850 that the U.S. adopted the Swiss, uh, the, uh, the Swiss, Swiss architecture for voting, which was a secret ballot. Before 1850, you went to vote and you stood in a, a certain area that you voted at and everybody waited in line. And so everybody knew who you were voting for. Um, and, of course, that brought in the uh, means that many people, through intimidation and bribery, to try to get people to vote a certain way, because they already know who's voting on this side, who's voting on that side. But when we changed our voting system to, like, the Swiss, we made it a secret ballot so you wouldn't know.
people would know would not know who everybody was voting for. Anyways, I believe we should go back to a system that is more direct, without with all this without all this technology involved. I think everything needs to be done on a paper ballot. I think you go down to a voting office like you used to do. You show your ID, picture ID, to get a ballot. And I believe what they should do is they should open up the voting process for not just one but two full days. And in, and in the process of voting, much like they did elsewhere, when you vote, they put the blue ink on your thumb, which stays on your thumb for about a week. You can't get it off. Which means that if you have to personally go and vote and get a paper ballot to vote, you can't go back with a blue thumb and say, I want another ballot. Um, I, think that's how it, I think that's how it should be done. It should be, voting should be done manually uh, to get people, actually get people out and on paper ballots to go down to their voting, their precinct uh, voting place, poll, and do it that way because there's too much room. There's too much room for uh, fraud uh, the way the system is set up now. I mean, that's just, that's just a, a obvious, simple, obvious observation. But at any rate, people, I want to encourage you. We need, we need people to come out and vote properly for the proper people. And in this case, it has to be Republicans. Whether they're pure, clean or not, you're going to have to make a choice because you're only going to get one, one or two choices. Either it's going to be a communist Democrat or a Republican, and then granted, a lot of these Republicans are not all that Republican, so to speak. And I don't really even understand. I don't like the terms liberal or conservative. That's all crap. I'm a patriot. I, I believe in our U.S. Constitution. It is the supreme law of the land. It oversees every. It has over, overbearing, whelming, overwhelming power over every other law. Any law that comes in conflict with the U.S. Constitution, uh, I think it's in the. Uh, Article 2, maybe, 6, something like that, where it's the, uh, says that any laws in conflict with the uh, Constitution loses. Um, but we need people to get out. We need lots of people to get out and vote to put Republicans in office. And at this point, I'm going to have to say that's going to have to be the starting point, the linchpin for it all. Because if we lose control of the House, uh, they seem to think the Senate will be still be in control by the Republicans. but. If the Democrats, the Communist Democrats, control the House, they will wreak so much havoc that um, it will be it will be a hideous it will be hideous to watch. So, anyways, people, that's my rant. Just uh, want to say that. Thanks for watching. Let me run my mouth. Pray for Donald Trump. God bless.